to myself. As I talk to close friends, I see me and them. We have similar characteristics and I see why we relate on different topics. We are mutually trying and we work hard and we are not perfect, but we continue to try hard to be good men. As we know, a lot of men do not want to vent about our problems to others or express how they feel about some things or anything at times. At times it's hard to get a friend to explain how they feel, but once that trust and communication is built, it is a relief to their soul. At times your wife may not understand what you're going through as a man, and only your brotherhood understands what you may be going through mentally. You know, at times I wouldn't talk to people about my problem. I wouldn't mention nothing about myself to them. Not to say I was better than no one, but I wouldn't mention my problems until we came to be on common ground. We sometimes need to ask ourselves, how are you doing? We focus so much on life and the people in it, but we don't focus on our hearts and minds. Mental illness is real. And if you don't let that tension off your mind, then you will be broken. As we see in the world today, there's a lot of people that's broken, walking around here with emotional hearts, backgrounds. We as husbands, wives, sons, daughters, mothers, fathers, uncles, aunts, cousins, brothers, sisters, and friends must keep that in mind when communicating with broken people. We at times get frustrated and want to hold them accountable for what they may be going through mentally because we may be more stable-minded than them and we lose sight on reality. Not to say they shouldn't be accountable for what they are doing. We should be too, because we are all human at the end of the day. We lose sight because we do not understand what they may think or how they might go about things in life. But we are different for a reason. And every small and big thing in your life made you to the person that you see in the mirror today.